Hey what's up guys? Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to install a MyBB forum. I've actually covered this tutorial once before on my channel but I decided I would go ahead and remake it because the audio quality on it was ter pretty terrible and I didn't like it so I decided I was going to go ahead and remake it. So to get started we're going to need to download the MyBB forum software. What you do is you just go to mybb.com hit the download now button and then download mybb 1.8.1 the version may change between now and whenever you're watching this video I've already downloaded the mybb forum software and it comes in a, a zip archive and you just want to extract that zip archive and then drag it to either your desktop or wherever you feel fit so after that we want to download FileZilla. FileZilla is an FTP client that's going to allow us to down or upload the MyBB forum software we just downloaded to our host provider. I've already downloaded and installed FileZilla so I'm not going to go ahead and redo it. Um, I hope everyone can install it and download it themselves. If you have any questions though uh, just shoot me a message and I'll try to help you. And then for the host provider, I'm going to be using 00webhost.com just for this tutorial. It's a free web host provider. Um, if you're going to be making a website or a forum and you want to have a lot of traffic to it or you want to not worry about a lot of downtimes, I would highly recommend looking at a paid host provider. Um, my recommendation would be to use hostgator.com. I've used them in the past for many different websites and forums and they have a really great support team. They help answer any questions you have or any concerns and they'll really help you get to the bottom of your problem and help you understand whatever questions you may have. It starts out at $3.96 a month so that's relatively cheap. Um, pretty much anybody could afford that so if you're going to be making a website I would highly recommend looking at a paid hosting provider but you don't have to you can use a free host provider if you want so to get started we're going to need to create a MySQL database now the MySQL database we're going to have to remember all the information we put here because later on during the install process of the forum we're going to have to remember all this information so for the MySQL database name, I'm just going to put name, and then for the username, I'm going to put user. And then for the password, just put whatever you feel like. Um, just so you know, for the MySQL database, um, it does have to contain letters and numbers, so just remember that. And then click Create Database. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go view our FTP details. Now the FTP details are what we're going to put into FileZilla so that we can log into our website. So for the host name, we want to just copy and paste this and post it into the host. There we go. For the username, just copy and paste that. And then for the password, just put in whatever you use for your password. And for the port, put 21 and hit Quick Connect. Now you'll be brought up to this. It'll say Public HTML, FTP Quota, and Do Not Upload Here. Go to the Public HTML folder. Now inside this folder, there's usually three files. I've already messed around with this site and done some stuff with it, so I already went ahead and deleted these three files but there will be three files in here just go ahead and delete all of those and the next thing you want to do is you want to um, find where you extracted your MyBB forum software I extracted mine to my desktop and then you want to go into the upload and everything inside the upload folder just drag over into the direct the uh, public HTML directory and then you want to go to the documentation and do the exact same thing we just did with the upload and then we'll let that process and after that is done processing I will return with the uh, rest of the tutorial alright so now that that's done we want to exit or minimize FileZilla and you want to go to the domain name and you'll be presented with the MyBB installation wizard alright and now all we want to do is just click next read the license agreement hit next requirements check everything seems to be okay everything is writable installed go ahead and click next 
Now the database configuration, this is where the MySQL database we created earlier in the tutorial will come in handy. So we'll want to go back to the 00 web host, go back to the MySQL and just start copying all this information. For the MySQL host, we'll copy that, paste it into the database server host name, database username, then the password you created for your database, and the database name. Then we'll just want to click Next then this will show you that it's created everything go ahead and click next it says then just click next next then for forum name this is your board configuration this is where you can configure the name of your forum so for the forum name I'm just going to put example forum Website name, example forum again, or whatever you want to call your forum. Contact email, you can set this to whatever you want. So I'm just going to put NEEP. And you can set a PIN if you want to. Um, I'm not going to because this is just a tutorial site and I'm not going to be using it for anything. So after I've done all that, um, also for the forum URL and the website URL, if you have your own custom, uh, if you have your own domain name, odds are this will already be set up for you. So you can just click next. And then for your username, I'm going to put neep, password, whatever you want your password to be. And your email address. And hit next. And this will tell you whether or not your copy of MyBB has, success, has successfully been installed. As you can see, it says mine has. And if we go back to our uh, domain name, it will show the MyBB form and that has been successfully installed. Now this completes the tutorial for today. Um, I have a tutorial on my channel on how to install a MyBB form and MyBB plugin. Uh, if you guys want me to, I know the audio quality on that video wasn't too great either. I haven't received too many complaints about it, but if you guys do want me to, I will go ahead and recreate that tutorial as well. So just comment below and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thank you.